Welcome to Land Values on the New South Wales Globe. The purpose of this tutorial is to explain how you can access land valuation information using the New South Wales Globe. If you are unfamiliar with the New South Wales Globe or require any assistance installing or using Google Earth, it is recommended that you watch New South Wales Globe Tutorial Video 1 prior to watching this video. To access land values on the New South Wales Globe, visit the Valuer General's website. Click in your browser's address bar and type in www.valuergeneral.nsw.gov.au before hitting enter. This website contains a lot of information on land values, including information explaining how to conduct a land value search, how to order a sales report, and how to request a review of your land value. Clicking the Land Values on New South Wales Globe button will direct you to the Valuer General's Land Values on the New South Wales Globe information page. On this page you will find information explaining land values on the New South Wales Globe, including a user guide and tutorial videos. When you're ready to launch the New South Wales Globe, click the New South Wales Globe button located in the bottom part of the page, then click on Open. If the New South Wales Globe doesn't launch, you should watch New South Wales Globe Tutorial Video 1 for assistance. An information screen will launch initially. Closing this page indicates that you agree to the terms and conditions. The New South Wales Globe contains numerous layers that may be turned on and off, depending on what type of information you are interested in displaying. Prior to viewing land values, you will need to turn on the land values layer and read some important information. In the bottom left hand corner of the screen you will find a layers window pane. First, click on the minus sign near the Google Earth primary database to create more room. Then click on the plus sign near the New South Wales Globe server icon to expand the LPI layers. Scroll down until you find the land values layer. You will find it between the land parcel and surveying layers. You should then click on the plus icon next to the land values layer. This will expand the land values section. To turn on the values data, check the box next to land values. This will make sure that land values are shown in the New South Wales Globe. Before viewing any land values, you should launch the valuation information screen by clicking on the link. An information screen is then displayed which describes what is contained within land values on the New South Wales Globe. You will also find an explanation of some of the limitations of the information displayed. Once you have read the information screen, you are ready to start viewing land values. The easiest way to find information in the New South Wales Globe is to use the search bar located in the top left hand corner of the screen. Ensure that Search Google is selected, then click in the search box and enter an address, for example, 1 Prince Albert Road, Sydney. Once you have entered an address, hit enter or click the search button next to the search box. Google Earth will zoom to the location you just searched for. To view a property's land value, click the red property marker located in the middle of the property. This will launch an information balloon that contains the property's valuation information. The information includes the property's address, zone, area, the basis used to make the valuations, and the land values for the past five years. Please note that some properties won't contain valuation data for the full five years. The balloon will also contain other information such as any values which are subject to concessions or allowances. Please note, if this information is not displayed, it means that the property does not contain any concessions or allowances. Where concessions and allowances do apply, this information can be accessed by conducting a more detailed land value search which is free for the owner. To conduct a land value search, click on the land value search hyperlink located three quarters of the way down the information balloon. If you have a copy of your notice of valuation, you can also search for your property by using the property number located in the top left corner of your notice of valuation. Notices of valuation are issued to landholders once every three to four years. If you have a land tax liable property, you can also use the property number printed on your land tax assessment notice provided to you by the Office of State Revenue. The property number can be found in the support schedule of your land tax assessment underneath each property address. If you do not have a copy of a notice of valuation or a land tax assessment notice and are not aware of your property number, you should consider using the address search function instead. To search using your property number, you should select the New South Wales Globe's property search function. In the top left hand corner of the screen select property search, type in the property number, for example 204 3147 
and then hit enter or click the search button next to the search box. Once again, clicking on the red property marker located in the middle of the property will display an information balloon containing the property's land value information. Some land parcels contain more than one property. Where this is the case, selecting the property marker will result in a number of other property markers being displayed. For this example, click on property in the search panel at the top left of the screen. Enter property number 2043437 and then hit enter or click the search button next to the search box. Selecting the property marker will display all of the properties associated with that land parcel. Select property number 2043437 to display the valuation information for that property. The New South Wales Globe also has the ability to display property boundaries. Displaying property boundaries is particularly useful if your property is spread over multiple parts or is a fragmented rural land holding. To highlight a property's boundary, click on the Show Boundary hyperlink in the top right corner of the information balloon. After clicking this hyperlink, the boundary of this property becomes highlighted. The property is also added to the Temporary Places folder in the centre left of screen. You can turn the property boundary on and off by clicking on the checkbox of the property underneath the Temporary Places folder. Clicking the red property marker in any part of the property will launch the land value information balloon for the whole of the property. For more specific land values information, visit the Valuer General's website. If you require any additional assistance, call the Valuation Customer Service Centre on 1800 110 038.